See, I wish I had a praying church. I wish I had a praying church. This is some foolishness right here. You see this right here? Some of y'all, even, even when you hear the sound, you get nervous. And you grown with children on your own. But you remember when your parents used to come and talk to you like this right here? So get your, get your. Woo! I'm upset. I'm upset. Because they done put my man in jail for beating his child. 15-year-old. Now, see, I've been around 15-year-olds. And I know how 15-year-olds think. And they think they bad. They think they something. And sometimes you got to show them that they ain't nothing. Because, see, because see, I would have came home like this. I'd have been thinking about it all the way home. How much is $5,000 really for bail? I'm a millionaire. I came home and said, Taffy, I need you to put $50,000 in a separate account. Because I'm going to whoop that tail 10 days straight. I will go. Mm -hmm. I will make provisions for that butt whooping. I'm guessing that it's going to take 10. So I need you to put, put $50,000 in, in a separate account. Because I'm, if I'm going, I'm, hey, I'm paying for this. You're going to get this. You're going to get this on today. You understand me? What if I feel like throwing? Get your... Woo! I'm upset. All right. I got to calm down. Because the reality is what happens when you don't discipline your children? See, the day that a child can call the police when a parent is disciplining them and the parent gets put in jail for disciplining the child, that's a problem. Because they raised, now I'm talking about like, you know, 15, you know, teenagers that think they, they smell in they self. <laughs> they think they grown. You know what I'm saying? You think you're going to smack me and be like, no, I'm going to the party. I, I, I got to calm down. I don't have a teenage child. But even with my son playing around, ha, daddy, daddy, boom. I'm like, oh, so now I got the suflex. I'm going to teach you about the suflex. See, some of y'all don't even know that term. You get to, you got to read up. You got to study. Google that. Anyway, my point is, what happens is society is making us, forcing us to raise a lawless generation. So what happens is when they get older, because they have not learned to honor and respect authority in their home, now we release them into society who has protected them from that respect and that honor of authority. And they're released into a, a culture where they can do anything. They're lawless. And now you want to put them in jail. You know why? Because there's money in jail. Mm -hmm. There's money in jail. Do your research. Find out how much. Look at private set, private jails. You can be broke off. The government will give you money. Uh huh. Per bed, per head. They'll hook you up. So I mean, it's just it's ridiculous, man. We got to get back to the days of yay and nay. We got to get back to the days of yay and nay. What is that? It's when you smack. It's so fast you don't even know what happened. You be sitting down there, and saying, "I don't feel like a." What just happened? Did I, am I bleeding? That's how it was. It's quick. Driving in the car. Whack! That's it. I ain't, I ain't losing my focus. I'm still driving straight down the road. See, we got to get back to them days that others may fear. Beat the children. We need to all create a fund. If it's $5,000, hey, I'll take it. I'll post bail. Ten times a year. I got to go. Holla.